Today, we will talk about the sleeping barber problem. The sleeping barber problem is a classic inter-process communication and synchronization problem between multiple operating system processes. The problem is analogous to that of keeping a barber working when there are customers, resting when there are none, and doing so in orderly manner. The sleeping barber problem is often attributed to Edsker Dijkstra, one of the pioneers in computer science. Here are the conditions for the sleeping barber problem. For the first one, the scenario, the sleeping barber problem consists of one barber, one barber's chair in a cutting room, and a waiting room containing a number of chairs in it. For the second condition, each customer when they arrive looks to see what the barber is doing. If the barber is sleeping, the customer wakes him up and sits in the cutting room chair. Third, if the barber is busy cutting, the customer stays in the waiting room and waits for their turn. When the barber finishes cutting a customer's hair, he dismisses the customer and goes to the waiting room to see if there are others waiting. If there are, he brings one of them back to the chair and cuts their hair. If there are none, he returns to the chair and sleeps in it. Lastly, if a customer enters the shop and all chairs are occupied, the customer leaves the shop. Here is a simple flowchart for the sleeping barber problem. At the start of the barber shift, it is shown that the barber is still sleeping since there are still no customers yet. If a customer walks in, the barber will do his job and starts cutting hair. If there are still other customers waiting at the lobby, the barber will continue to cut hair, but if there are none, he'll then go back to sleep in his chair. Once it is closing time, he'll finish cutting the hair of his last customer before going home. If there are no customers remaining, then the barber will simply close shop and go home. Now we move on to the problem that may occur in the sleeping barber problem. The first problem is the deadlock. There might be a scenario in which the customer ends up waiting on the barber and the barber waiting on the customer, which would result to a deadlock. Here is a sample scenario for the deadlock. A customer walks in and sees the barber still cutting hair. While waiting, he went to the comfort room to pee. Simultaneously, the barber finishes cutting the hair of the first customer and checks if a customer is waiting at the lobby. Since no one is at the lobby, the barber decided to go back to the chair and sleeps. Unbeknownst to the second customer, the first customer already left. Thus, he kept on waiting on the waiting room. And this is how a deadlock may occur in the sleeping barber problem. The solution to these problems involves the use of three semaphores, out of which one is a mutex. This is also called a binary semaphore. The first one helps in counting the waiting customers. The second one is to check the status of the barber, if either he is idle or not. The third one is to keep count of the available seats, so a customer either wait if there is a free seat or leave if there are none. Lastly is a mutex, which allows the customer to get exclusive access to the number of free seats and allow them to increase or decrease the number. Here is a brief definition of terms. Deadlock is a state which each member of a group is waiting for another member, including itself, to take action. Semaphores is a simple variable. This variable is used to solve critical section problems and to achieve process synchronization in the multi-process environment. Mutex, or a lock, is a synchronization mechanism for enforcing limits on access to resource in an environment where there are many threads of execution. Now let's move on to the second problem, which is starvation. Starvation might happen to a customer who is waiting for a long time when customers don't follow order, or when the barber calls out a customer randomly. As can be seen on the illustration, the order in which the customers are being served is not followed numerically, thus leaving customer 2.
Since customer 2 was not serviced for a long period of time, starvation may occur and the said customer might decide to leave. The solution for this is by utilizing a queue where customers are added as they arrive, so that the barber may serve them on a first-come, first-served basis, also known as FIFO, first in, first out. And as can be seen on the illustration, the order in which the customers are now being served is in its numerical order. By doing this, the problem of starvation can now be avoided. Lastly, here is a sample algorithm or code for the sleeping barber problem. Here is where my discussion for the sleeping barber problem ends. Thank you for listening and have a great day.